Well, that was Friday, and what a Friday. Uh, I'm recording this um, at 4.08, so it's uh, eight minutes after the close, uh, which is unusual. Usually I record these uh, heading into the close. Uh, and the reason for that was I was deciding up until the very last moment whether or not to sell uh, one of my short positions. And ultimately, I didn't. I uh, decided to carry uh, both positions um, into the weekend. Uh, so let me uh, update my uh, trading journal account here um, and I'll show you guys. So as you can see, my HOD positions, the shorts are um, here on this first, uh, sorry, let me correct this here, on these uh, first three, three rows. The first one is the average and then uh, these two are the individual positions. So as you can see, the, the second one here, which is from uh, a week ago exactly, um, is up four and a half, four point six percent. So it's it's a really nice profit, and I generally take that off the table when it's offered to me. I mean, it's almost a grand, um, but I decided to carry it forward because honestly, I feel like this um, bounce that we got off of the lows today, this isn't our low. Um, you know, I expected us to close somewhere closer to 44, and if that had happened, I think I would have sold at least one of the shorts in, ex in anticipation of some sort of bounce. But I think the bounce that I was hoping to play is exactly what has happened here already. And I basically just missed the sale opportunity. So when we touched for uh, 43.80 uh, the first time, I was actually on my trading account ready to hit the sell button. Um, and I hesitated because, you know, I really thought that the bear momentum was going to take us into the mid 43s. And I guess I was just greedy, um, to be honest. In any case, I didn't sell there and I missed the bounce. So I missed the opportunity to repurchase, of course. I missed the opportunity. And because I didn't sell, I also didn't buy any longs, which also I had planned on doing at the same time as selling. Um, so neither of that happened. Um, so I missed all that action and it was a lovely day for action. If you actually, you know, were able to pull the trigger like I wasn't able to on that first move, there was so much profit to be taken today on all this up and down, up and down. Um, the swings were big enough to be, um, you know, healthy for anyone trading, you know, as little as a few thousand dollars. Um, on 2x ETF, you'd be making you know, 50 bucks here, 100 bucks there um, on each of these swings, um, in theory, of course. But anyway, I missed it all. So um, looking at where we closed and, you know, kind of climbing up like this. And, and by the way, just as an aside, not selling goes against one of my rules. Um, you know, this profit, um, you know, plus 4%, 4.5%. Four um, basically, generally speaking, I take anything... Um, over 2%, I take it off the table and just wait for the next opportunity. So for me to carry a 4.5% a uh, profit forward, um, I really have to believe in something and that's the case here. I, I just feel like we ended up higher than, than really we will ultimately and I expect that Monday or Tuesday we're going to see those mid 43s if not lower. Um, so I'm going to hang on to those shorts, not because I'm greedy in this case, not because I want to see a bigger profit, but more so by selling those shorts, I would have exposed my long positions to greater loss without any, any matching hedge. And right now I'm basically, um, hedged with a 40, with a kind of a 10% bias towards the downside. So basically I'm making a 10% profit on my portfolio holdings. Um, the farther, the lower that we go. So I'm still ahead of the game as long as we move downward, even with my hedged position. Um, but my concern is that we go from 44 to 42 and, and, and the hit against the long positions would be such that it would, it would suck basically. So it's not as much about me take, wanting a bigger profit on the bear position as it is about protecting the longs. Um, and having that hedge in place. So anyway, you can interpret however you want, but that was my rationale, and I'm expecting us to go lower than, than we are right now, given what we've seen today and given what we've seen this week. 
I think we basically cracked that bullish momentum and we're going to see lower lower numbers. Um, the news today about you know rising uh, rising supplies in the U.S. Um, really had didn't have as much of an effect as I would have expected. Uh, so yeah, that that's my feeling. For better or worse, that's what I did. I'd love to hear what you guys did, and if uh, and if anyone out there was able to actually take advantage of any of these swings, um, it'd be it'd be really cool to hear um, your logic and and why you made the decisions that you made. So hit me up down below on YouTube um, in the comments or uh, over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, and charts. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and uh, have a great weekend. I'll check back with you guys on Monday. Cheers.